Women's History Month celebrates the important contributions of women throughout history. And as we recognize local efforts, it only makes sense to sit down with Madeline Abramson, the former First Lady of Louisville. Popular First Lady at that, WHS 11 Shirlene Shanklin, photojournalist Aspen Hester, share Madeline Abramson's continuing love for this city, which shines through with her many good deeds. Madeline Abramson's passion has always been public service. You may remember her as the former First Lady. My husband, uh, it will be 35 years this coming June, is former Mayor and Lieutenant Governor Jerry Abramson. Madeline still laughs when you asked who entered the political ring first. <laughs> well, actually, Jerry and I joked because I said I was in public service really before he was because I was the night school student senator at the University of Louisville <laughs> and was involved in student government, but Jerry had already been elected mayor when we got married in 1989, so I chose him rather than choosing public service, but it was a package deal. <laughs> Abramson, a Louisville native, she attended Holy Rosary Academy, then going to JCTC for real estate and U of L to get a degree as a paralegal. She took a break to raise her son and continued her education at Bellarmine with a bachelor's in liberal studies. It was very difficult to believe because it seems like just yesterday that we were walking him across the street to Field Elementary, but uh, he's a Bellarmine University graduate and married his high school sweetheart from Mayo, Candace, and they have given us two adorable grandchildren. As First Lady, Madeline kept the secrets while Jerry worked through the issues. It wasn't hard to keep confidential, but it was very worrisome but I, because I knew some of the challenges he was facing and that our community was facing. Did she ever consider joining the political ring? I like to work more behind the scenes and so volunteer work has been a really a joy for me and a way to help the community. Matlin keeps a busy schedule working with Mary Hurst, the Red Cross and the Kentucky Performing Arts. But her greatest joy is family. Well, if, if grandbabies, that, that is the number one hobby but I love to read. They frequent the public library and exercise is very important to her. I'm a 10-year breast cancer survivor. Yes, ma'am, how are you doing? I'm, I'm doing great, thank you. I'm very, very fortunate um, to be able to get uh, high quality treatment right here in my hometown. Matlin lives by a bit of wisdom from a father. He always liked to quote uh, Eldridge Cleaver, who said, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. For moments that matter with photojournalist Aspen Hester, I'm Charlene Shanklin for WHS 11 News on your side. Earlier this month, Madeline Abramson was honored with a Rosie the Riveter Award. Abramson is also on the Kentucky Commission on Women Board, and they have a documentary, Dreamers and Doers, Voices of Kentucky Women. We've got a link on whas11.com, so check it out. And I, I covered their wedding. It was on the top floor of the Humana Building in the late 80s. What Qu an interesting fact. <laughs> <laughs> they let us in on a Saturday and talked to everybody in the reception. It I loved seeing their little wedding photo behind there, and, and the interview was very cool. <laughs> Thanks for